Hi everyone, welcome to Obelisk of Kamun. Not a very long level, but very glitchy one. So let's get started. So as I mentioned last level, we're going to use the starting position here as the setup for the first glitch. I highly recommend saving, but if you do mess up and you don't have a save but want to continue, I'm going to show that first. So if uh, this is like the easy backup, you're going to just run all the way here. If you only care about uh, the first glitch, then you can just uh, skip this beginning part. It's only maybe like 30 seconds or so. So we're going to do a crack bug here. Just swim all the way to the far left of this room. Pick up the key. And then get out of here same way. And put the key in the keyhole and the door will open. After this door opens, we're going to just corner bug up. And it is also the backup. If at any point you fall down here, you can always get back up by just corner bugging right here. It's just very standard 45 degrees, jump twice. Here. And then uh, this is. Well, from here you can access the whole level, but I'm going to show the first glitch how we normally do it now. So first of all, we're going to do a run forward. Make sure she stops before you continue to do more inputs, otherwise it probably won't work. So then we want to do a roll, but while we're rolling, we're going to hold forward and left, and then do a running swan dive when she gets out of the roll. So it looks like this. If you did it right, you'll stumble on this door with this kind of angle. Now we want to side flip left. And then we're going to do a standing jump into a running jump with no stops. So it's like this. Standing jump, running jump immediately, then we stop. Walk once. Now here is where the tricky part begins. We're going to just do a running jump and hold forward. And then we can let go. So here you should see LARP is black, but be careful of turning left or right, because if you do that, you will get stuck like this. Uh, in some cases, you can face uh, like outside and press roll and you can get out. But uh, it's obviously not good because you just feel the trick and you can't do it how we want to. So. To turn, you need to hold forward and then left and right. So don't turn without holding forward. But if you're not moving, then you can let go of forward. Okay, so want to turn this way and then the line up for a really nice jump afterwards is this wall change. When the, when the camera changes, so right now we see Lara. When the camera changes and we see the wall in front, like to the left, we just uh, let go of forward and then do... I hold right and jump three times, and then the fourth time to get out here. Now, oops. common mistake is not getting the right angle on that jump. So what what might happen here is like let's say your angle is really off like this. What might happen is you come down here, and this is really bad. Sometimes you can get up if you're uh, quick enough and you have good luck. Not this time, but even if you do, you need to kill the mummies either when you climb up or at the end of the level because we're going to come back to this room to leave. Since we didn't open the door using this glitch, we also need to get through this window again to leave. And you need to kill the mummies if you trigger them, so the best way is, my opinion, make a save and load if you fall down and try again. Uh, just don't touch the floor. If the mummies are activated, you really can't do the exit. Anyway, so once you jump here, you want to do a roll. And then... Let's do two walks into a run. To the right over here. So, so this is the safest way that I would recommend for if you're just starting out. Just drop down here and then climb up. Right, like here. But if you're going for a little bit... 
better, then you can do this extended jump and do a late grab as well to come right here. That way you're uh, up a level, but be careful because it's very easy to miss like and come drop down in this corner. So again, doing it like this, late grab, turn, roll here. This puts us in a good position to do standing jump and uh, running jump. We come this way and just pull this lever. Side flip and uh, standing jump forward and there's two ways to get out of here. Show the uh, slightly faster way first. So we're going to jump to that stairs from here and then just climb up. Uh, don't set up your position on the very edge. It's like extremely difficult to do it here. I'd recommend somewhere like this, uh, like one one side step away from the corner. And then we just want to do a running jump slightly to the right. Oops, like this. And then we're going to move forward a little bit, roll, so we're on this corner, get the angle, do two standing jumps up. So that that is only faster if you do it pretty quick. So the safe way, because there's no way to fall down, if you do it this safe way, is just do a corner bug. And you can use the camera to get the right angle, so it's just like press right, and then camera changes, and you jump three times. And you'll just teleport on top. It, there's like no risk this way, so it's up. It's up to you. Both ways are basically the same. And now we want to jump up here. Uh, there's a large if you need backup, but we generally don't take it. And we want to line ourselves right here on this second step um, to the right of the lever, and then we can either take one back step, a uh, one walk back and then left side step to make sure we're aligned properly or we can do one back and one forward and then left side step line properly and we're going to do a slope bug up this all the way to the top and the easiest way to line up is the top right of Lara's head for the line between the two tiles like between the lever and the right wall like it is right now so it's just like this and then all we need to do is jump into it as always you can press roll to cancel it if you have the right timing like this but it's not important to just go up again it's just top right of Lara's head with that line then jump into it and then we're gonna roll and press this lever Now we want to get over there to that lever near the grass on the right there. Uh, so first I'm going to show the safe way. It's a little bit slower, but actually no risk. You just pull this lever and then just jump down here. Oops. Well, anyway, yeah, so you just jump down here and then pull the lever. Pass this way is a fancy swan dive here so uh, first I'm gonna show what we're basically going to do is like this right and we land here and then go to lever so it's pretty quick but there's no hard setup for this so what I recommend is coming here so don't do it first of all don't do it on like the very edge like this it's possible, but it's a lot more difficult. So I'd recommend just about one side step away from the egg, something like this. And also don't do two side steps because again, it's possible, but it's very difficult. So something like this and line the middle of Lars head with the, co the above corner, like the corner up there, not, not this block, just the uh, above one. And then we want to do a standing jump into a running swan dive. Now the trick here is that we want to go slightly to the right of the corner so we get through. But we want to hold left right as we pass the corner. So again like this. Sometimes you don't need to hold left but it's just a nice uh, insurance. Because if you go to right, if you're angled too much to the right, 
You're going to hit the... Oops. Going to hit the... F okay, if I can get this. Going to hit the fence or even the ground. And you'll just die. But in that case, I didn't even have enough distance. So I just dropped all the way down. But it's still obviously a time loss. And let, me, let me just kill her. Or try to kill her. Like this will... So as you can see, it just kills me even if I land on the fence. So... That's why the angle is really important, and of course you need to get the swan dive to get the full distance here. Uh, again, make sure you hold left when you just pass the corner, but not before that, otherwise you, you will hit the wall like I did just before. If you do hit the wall though, so like let's say you mess up and you went like that, you don't need to reset the whole thing, you can just take a back step and do it from here, although it may be harder, so you, you might want to reset the whole thing anyway, but you don't need to. Okay, okay here I messed up, but... Yeah, uh, there's, I don't think there's that much more to say about this, unfortunately. There's no hard setup, so it's just a lot of practice. Uh, knowing Lara's movements definitely helps here, because you need to know what she can make, the distance she needs to do that. Swan dive and getting the right angle. It's like this. Okay, so we're going to pull this lever and then we're going to go over there because we're going to get the secret on top of the middle obelisk. And just a few words on these pillars. They're very chunky. Like they're very, they're a lot fatter than you might think. They're kind of like the um, swords in Folly's Damocles room. So what you can do is just but once you're kind of stuck, you can just sidestep right, and then you're, you can definitely just move forward. Uh, the other option is you can just bypass them completely by a running jump. Something like this. Like this. Now, if you do fall down in this small fenced area, you can climb back up on that side. So it's not a big deal, it's just a small time loss if you mess up the jump. Now, once you come over here, a nice way to get the next pickup is so make sure you're like one tile away, not too back. Otherwise, you can miss this jump if you're like obviously like this, then you're gonna miss it. But a nice way is to just swan dive onto the pickup, and then you'll be perfectly on position to just pick it up right away. But the, there's a slight danger with that is that when you swan dive, you can't change the angle. So if you're like this, you can't turn left and you'll just die. So if you're really scared, you can just do a regular running jump, and you'll make it. And then you can do one forward to pick up. Uh, the advantage, obviously, is that you can turn. So if you if if you're like rushing it and you go like this, at least you can turn. And oops, don't don't grab though. But so something like this, it's like oh, I turn, and then you can still recover. Now after this pickup, going one, going to um, go with that secret over there with the white, white thing. And the easiest way is to line yourself like here, and you just do a walk run jump. So like this one. So if you see the square where Lara's head is right now, that's what I like to line up with. And if you do that, and you just do a walk run, and you don't touch anything else. She'll just land right right on the platform, and then if you press grab, she'll pick it up. And from this position, she's slightly angled, you can just do a left side flip, and she'll land down here, which is where we want to go. Do a roll, and you do the lever. Uh, so as I mentioned with the other way, if you do mess this up, like let's say you just accidentally drop down here, it's okay. In point, you can just climb back up. And then corner bug with this first corner, like this. And you just pick this up and continue. And also, so let's say you also kind of mess this up a little bit, something like that. You can just pick this up, but now don't do the side flip because it can kill you if you're not uh, in proper position or angle. You can just do a standing jump and plus the grab and you'll make it every time. Just do a roll. Okay. 
And then we're going to want to pull this lever. And from here, you can do a sli uh, slightly fast jump by just coming to the left over here with the walk jump. Do you need a little bit distance and the camera is a little bit tricky? So just back step here and walk run. But then make sure to curve uh, right after you jump. Otherwise you'll fall down something like this. So you'll fall down. If you're not happy with this jump, you can go slightly slower. Just come to the right here. It's like very slightly slower, so not a big deal. But we're gonna want to pick up this. And we're gonna pick up every uh, item around this obelisk. And a nice way to do this is so after we pass the corner we're going to have a small stumble and during that we're going to want to hold forward and left so that she turns towards the item and then once she starts moving you let go of forward and just keep holding left so something like this like that and i'll draw on this one so want to turn and it, once she she's going to move now once that, I let go of forward because I don't want to keep going forward. I just turn left so that she is here. Of course, uh, this can be a little bit tricky when you're first starting out. So you can go a little bit safer, like just go like that or something and pick it up, for example. For this last one, it's pretty simple. Just uh, easiest way I recommend is just getting this stumble and then the one left side step, pick it up. Because we're going to run out this way. And if you run and jump near that corner, you can make this down here, which is what we want. And then while you're stumbling, you're going to turn and drop down here. So let me repeat that. Now your first uh, pickups. And one side step. Okay, so, yeah, let me save here. So it's two running jumps and then we want to do a third running jump around this corner so we can go all the way down and then we turn while she's stumbling, roll down here and shimmy all the way left. So this will be the beginning of uh, the setup for our exit. And again, if you trigger these mummies, so you, you'll see them if uh, you ever touch this ground, they'll be down here. You need to kill them now because you won't be able to do the exit if uh, they're active. Ideally, that never happens though because we never really touch them, uh, touch the ground. So again, just shimmy left, then roll. Now we want to hold forward, but then also uh, walk so we don't fall off. So just go all the way to the edge. Then two right side steps. Uh, you can also spam it, but if you want the exact count, it's just twice. Then two walk back, one walk forward. Now we want to hold forward, right, jump, and action all at the same time. So it'll be like this. Oops. Sorry. Yeah, make sure you, you jump. So it's like this. So uh, I just want to show. So if you don't do the next actions fast enough, the mummies will come and get you like at some point. But general, it's not a problem. It's never a problem if you do this right away. So after she stumbles, we're going to just run and jump like this. And then we'll get stuck in the wall like before. So once you're in the wall, again, remember to hold forward if you're turning left and right. Otherwise, you could get stuck forever. We want to turn 180 degrees, basically, and face outside like this. And once we're facing that way, we can let go of forward and just do back jumps, and we'll get out. So I jumped an extra time there to get down, but um, let me just show that one more time. So once you're in the wall, you're safe. The mummies can't touch you, but you just need to make sure you get in the wall. So 180 degrees, right? I'm like facing outside where the mummies are. Okay. So one, two, three, back jump, and I'll be here. So you can just uh, get out this way. 
And then for this fence, it's basically a city of Kamun fence, but uh, instead of coming from the right, it's basically impossible, come from the left, like very slightly to the left, and it'll be very easy. Just climb up here, and do running jumps. And again, there's another fence, but this one, we're going to do another way. The easiest way I recommend is running to this corner here, side step to make sure you're in the corner, and then just uh, forward and action, and you'll just climb right up. Okay, so if that doesn't work, uh, you might want to hold forward and right as well. It just depends on your angle you get, so like this. So just forward, work to there. But if it doesn't work, you can just hold forward, right. Uh, not, not like all the way, but like just a little bit. And then grab, and you'll, you'll just walk through. So then we move forward, standing jump with the late grab to get to this keyhole. And we want to go in counterclockwise order, because that way we never have to menu. And this one's a little bit uh, different from the pickups from the first obelisk, but it's basically the same. So we're going to want to you know, come to this corner, then turn. But because there's the cutscene after we put in the keyhole, we want to press guns so that we can quickly do it and we can see Lara. Just remember, don't uh, pull out your guns too soon. Or else you'll have to come back to this tile without your guns to have the door open. Like this. The corner movement can be a little bit tricky, so it's just a matter of practice. Eventually you can get it. And that's the end of the level. So, uh, before I finish, I just want to mention the beginning again. If you don't decide to do the window strategy, I'm saved, do I? Okay, well, it's not a big deal, but it's only a little bit slower if you do everything correctly. Maybe like 15 or 20 seconds slower. But uh once okay so once you come down here so you get through this door and you corner bug up here you could follow the exact same route pretty much it's just that at the end when you pick up the last item instead of doing the window exit you can just run out this door that you open uh, also if you really want the fastest route with you know, picking up the first key without the window. The route is a little bit different. You don't have to drop down and continue. Uh, what you can do is pick this up and then continue from here. So basically, this is the quick, quick route if you're doing the first key, which I assume most people will do the window, but I just want to show. So basically, you're actually going to pick this up first. And actually, this won't be a... Uh, this won't be lowered yet. So you're gonna, after you pick this up, just do a running jump here. You're gonna do this room. Then you come out here, you come over here. You do all that stuff as normal, but once you get on the obelisk, let's see here. Yeah, like here. Uh, since we already corner bugged and picked up that secret over there, we don't need to go there anymore. So what we just need to do is drop like this. And when you drop, just hold action to pick up the uh, item. Otherwise, you take more damage. And actually, I think from this fall, you actually die if you don't, even at a full life. Just wanna show that off. Here, I missed, but I almost fall, fell off too, so that's the risk of rushing it. Okay, so if you don't... Okay. So I actually that was not as bad as I thought. But anyway, it is still faster to just pick it up right away. And then... Uh, that, the first bridge is already, you already took that pickup, so once you grab this one, you're going to just jump out here, and then go through the, this door all the way to the beginning again, which is right here. 
and then you come over here and you, everything is the same from this part, part on so again that's only if you get the key or if you mess up this window which um is an old, older strategy but it's not that much slower so if the window like you want to come back to it or something this one's not too bad and it's just nice to know in case uh, later on you don't make a save or something and you mess up the window, you can still continue your run. Even with a moderate time loss. So yeah, that's Obelisk. I hope this video helped you. See you next time.